The president, the trustees, and the faculty of Fairfield University are happy to welcome you, the mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, husbands, wives, and relatives, and friends of the candidates for the degrees in course of the class of 2018. The academic procession is now entering the Bellarmine Terrace commencement area led by the Grand Marshal, Dr. Jamie Macbeth, Assistant Professor in Computer Science in the School of Engineering, and this year's Alpha Sigma Nu Teacher of the Year. Professor Macbeth carries the mace of the university. The academic pr procession is punctuated by gonfalons representing each school of the university. The Gonfalon colors represent the colors of the hoods for the various disciplines offered at Fairfield. The Gonfalons are interspersed throughout the academic procession. The first groups approaching in the graduation procession on the right side of the aisle are the candidates for the Doctor of Nursing Practice and the candidates for the Master in Nursing. The Marion Peckin Egan School of Nursing and Health Studies Gonfalon is apricot, representing the discipline of nursing. Following the Marion Peckin Egan School of Nursing and Health Studies on the right side are the candidates for the Master of Arts, Master of Science degrees, Master of Public Administration, and the Master of Fine Arts from the College of Arts and Sciences. The Arts and Sciences Gonfalon of White represents the humanities and social sciences, and the yellow and white Gonfalon of the College of Arts and Sciences represents the Master of Science degrees. On the right are the candidates for the Masters in Business Administration and the Master of Science. The gonfalon for the Dolan School of Business is beige and white, beige representing the discipline of business. On the left side of the aisle are the candidates for the Master of Arts and the six-year certificates from the Graduate School of Education and Allied Professions. The gonfalon for the Graduate School of Education and Allied Professions is blue and white. Graduate School of Education and Allied Professions. On the left are the candidates for the Masters in Engineering. The gonfalon for the School of Engineering is orange and white, orange representing the discipline of engineering. Joining their colleagues who are serving as marshals for the academic procession are the members of the faculty of Fairfield University and representatives from the Domena Nicelius Library and Student Affairs. They are preceded by the University Gonfalon and the color of red with the seal of the university centered on the banner.
the faculty and administrative staff are represented in the procession, and the various colors of their robes and hoods signify their areas of academic discipline and the universities from which they receive their graduate degrees. session are the members of the platform party, the superior of the Jesuit community, the university chaplain and special assistant to the president, the dean of students, the deans of the five schools of the university, the provost, the vice presidents of the university, the secretary of the general faculty, the Alpha Sigma Nu graduate teacher of the year, President of the Alumni Association, the chairs of the school's advisory committees, the trustees of the university, the honorary degree recipients and their escorts. And at the end of the procession, Frank Carroll III, Chairman of the Board of Trustees, and Dr. Mark R. Nemec, President of Fairfield University. Dr. Mark Nemec, members of the Board of Trustees, chairs of the advisory committees, deans, members of the faculty, administrators, president of the Alumni Association, members of the graduating class, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen. As provost for the university, I would like to welcome you to the 68th commencement exercises for Fairfield University. <laughs> Will our graduates remain standing and our guests please rise for the invocation which will be offered by the Reverend Michael Tunney, Society of Jesus, superior of the Fairfield Jesuit community. Please remain standing for the singing of the national anthem by members of the Mendelssohn Choir of Connecticut under the direction of Carol Ann Maxwell, 
artistic director and conductor, and accompanied by Beth Palmer and the Brass Salad Quintet. The most powerful force on earth is the human soul on fire. Let us pray. Generous God, you give us this commencement day, this graduate celebration. All these students and their accomplishments, their families and their friends. Now, set us on fire. On fire with your desire for wisdom, rooted in faith and in reason. On fire with your vision of justice for all peoples. On fire with your one love across all our faith traditions and our goodwill. God of all blessings, fill and fold us our graduate Fairfield celebrations today. The gifts of your Holy Spirit give us and let them set our souls on fire. Amen. St. Robert Bellarmine, pray for us. Please be seated. The president and faculty of Fairfield University have the honor to cite the following member of the graduating class who has won special recognition for her academic achievement. The Alumni Association of Fairfield University, in conjunction with the academic division, selects a graduate student each year who is committed to the Jesuit ideals of high academic standards and involvement in her community. This award is known as the Loyola Medal, and this year it is conferred upon Teresa Spencer of the Miriam Peckham Egan School of Nursing and Health Studies. The Alumni Association has made a donation of $1,000 in Dr. Spencer's name to the program in psychiatric mental health in the Miriam Peckham Egan School of Nursing and Health Studies. Congratulations. The President will now officially confer the honorary degree on Ambassador Mark Dybel. The citation will be read by Dr. Patrick Kelly, Distinguished Fellow, Miriam Peckham Egan School of Nursing and Health Studies.
for his groundbreaking work on the treatment and control of HIV AIDS, his compassionate advocacy, and his embodiment of the Jesuit ideal of cura personalis, care of the whole person, the President and Board of Trustees hereby proclaim Mark Dibel, Doctor of Science, honoris causa. The President will now officially confer the honorary degree on Jack R. Mitchell. The citation will be read by Dr. Valeria Martinez, Associate Professor of Finance in the Dolan School of Business. For the inspiration of his unique relationship-based business model, his passion for lifelong learning, and his long-standing commitment to the community, the President and Board of Trustees hereby proclaim John R. Mitchell, Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to introduce Jack R. Mitchell, our 2018 commencement speaker. Wow. Wow, I'm absolutely, absolutely thrilled to be here today. Thank you very, very much. I'm honored and of course, I'm very humbled at the same time. I'd like to share with you some very simple yet meaningful values and beliefs in my family and our family business. Whether you're in business or you're going into nursing or teaching or counselors or creative writers, public service workers or engineers, whatever dream you follow, connecting with people on a personal level and sharing these values with them, friends, colleagues, workers, customers, employees, and caring deeply about them. It's all been part of my life's journey, and of course, my business journey. The mission of our stores is to make people feel great. We focus on our customers. They're the center, absolutely the center of the universe. And we build personal relationships with them and personal relationships with our employees that we call our associates. And we use data, we use technology in this modern world to keep things personal and to know the score in everything that we do. And we're always striving to be better, to be excellent by listening, learning, and growing, and also having fun. As you know from the program, these values are expressed in something I call hugs. Hugs are any act or deed that says, wow, you really care about the person that you're dealing with. It, it's, it can definitely, you know, hugging is a metaphor. Let's remember this in this day and age. <laughs> and it's also very much embedded in the Jesuit core value or motto of Cora Personalis, caring for the whole person and recognizing each person as a child of God's creation. So let's have some fun now, quickly. I always wear my tape. It's, it's how you, you'll remember that I'm a real retailer. I'm really, you know, I'm on the selling floor and I'm meeting and greeting customers. Also that everything I say here is for real and authentic. First thing I want you to do is I want you to hug yourselves. Everybody here, hug yourself. Everybody, give it a big hug. You've earned it. Back there, family and friends, everybody, hug yourselves. Give, it, give yourself a hug. You've, you've, you're graduating from one of the finest universities in the world, graduates, and parents and friends and family, you've, you've supported and educated and supported and nurtured these wonderful graduates. Give yourself a big hug. My message, of course, is that you need to extend these hugs from yourself to your family, friends, and business colleagues, to everyone you encounter. We've been doing that in our family and our family business for over 60 years. 
I remember like it was yesterday, my mom and dad started our family business 60 years ago. My dad was a commuter between Westport, Connecticut, and, Grand and New York City. Hopped off the commuting train, and with my mom's help, at 55 years old, started our family business in 800 square feet. Today, that store is 27,000 square feet, and we have eight stores throughout the country. So we've grown rapidly, but it's been about, about the values. Of course, we like to make people feel great by the clothes they wear, but it's much more than that. It's deeper. It's about getting executing on these particular values. And along my journey, of course, I have written, as you just heard, three business books on, on hugging. <laughs> hugging your customers, hugging your people, and selling the hug your customer way. It's all about how we really personalize each and every relationship we have with our customers, with our associates, and even our vendors, people like George Armani and Ralph Lauren and Michael Kors and others that we get to know on a personal basis, and they gain mutual respect and trust. And this trust becomes something that remains with them forever, forever, in our business. I want to share with you a fun story. I think it's a meaningful story because it, it shows, again, how you can hug yourself and then also hug other people. This was a story four or five years ago. I was wa walking around our selling floor with my tape and meeting and greeting customers, and this young lady came up to me and she said, are you the Mitchell that wrote that book, Hug Your Customers? I said, yes, I am. She said, well, you changed my life. I said, wow, how, how did that happen? She said, well, you know, I, I'm a singer. I said, where do you sing? She said, I sing at Carnegie Hall and nice places like that. I said, wow. She said, I said, how did my book change your life? She said, well, I was all about myself. I was, you know, before I had a concert or on stage, I was thinking, was I going to remember the words? Was my voice going to crack? And I was very nervous. Sometimes I even threw up before I went on stage. She said, I read your book, and I realized it was about hugging my customers, hugging the audience, getting the energy from them, listening to them and talking to them, each and every one of them. And when I did that, guess what? All my anxiety, or most of it, 90% of it went away, and I really have enjoyed myself, and I enjoy singing and relating and caring for each and every person that I sing to. I'm confident that these are, these are spiritual and emotional and intellectual connections that happen when you go this whole body idea of sharing yourself with others to each, every, each and every person, each and every day. My book is full of stories. The one, another one that I really like because I think it, it symbolizes how simple hugs can be and how simple messages can be and that, that become almost like the gospel of spreading the word. And they become ambassadors to our, to our family business. This is a story about a gentleman by the name of Lou Gershner. You graduates may be a little too young to remember Lou, but he was the CEO of IBM, of IBM chairman at IBM. His creditor was really, quote, saving IBM. And, and, and my, my story goes back as my, my brother and I were the chairman and have been for several years of the Inner City Foundation for Catholic Charities, a big fundraiser in Greenwich, Connecticut, where we have a store, Richards. We were meeting, it was a black tie affair. We were meeting and greeting our friends and customers. And Robin Gershner, Lou's wife, comes up to me and she, she's smiling. She said, you know what you did for me today, Jack? Why, what did we do for you? She said, well, you know, we go to a lot of these fundraisers. Last night we were in New York at the Waldorf and Lou put his tuxedo jacket on and he went to button it and the button fell off. And he picked up the button, put it in his pocket all night. He was squirming. And I knew we were coming to the Inner City Foundation for Catholic Charities event tonight. It was a black tie also. I took it down to Richard's, and you know what you did? I said, what did we do, Robin? She said, Tulio, who's worked for you for 46 years, he sewed the button on. You know, wow, that was, it. you know, she sewed the button on. And then she said, you know, what else you did? What else did we do? But this time there were 50 or 60 people. She took a long time to tell the story. She pressed, he pressed the jacket and he pressed the trousers so Lou could look, and in Walsh's Lou, so elegant tonight. The president of IBM's wife was impressed because we sewed a button on. And it wasn't even a Richard's tuxedo. So if you forget all the stories I tell you, remember the button story. You know, it so can be so simple. We have 18 tailors. Well, of course, we don't, even if it's not a Richard's tuxedo. I thought that was a good story, and I actually told the story to a lot of people. And, but it didn't, it didn't end that way. 
through two or three years later, I was, I'm a tennis player, I like to play tennis, but I also, if somebody invites me to the US Open, it was a big US Open event, and it was one of these sky boxes I was in, and the next one next to me was the IBM box, and I saw Lou, and he came over to me, and he gave me a huge high five. For those of you who know Lou, that's, not, that's unusual for him, but he gave me it anyway, and he told everybody in the IBM box that we were the greatest clothing store in the world because we sewed a button on. Can you imagine? You see, what distinguishes us, really, is that we're all about, again, about personalizing these relationships, one customer at a time. We welcome them in our store, just as you would welcome people into your home or to your apartment. That's what we try to do with every single customer that we work with. Now, the, the big challenge for you today, I'm challenging you, is can you execute these hugs? Do you, first of all, do you want to? Have you decided you want to be, you don't have to use this word, but you know what I mean. Do you want to be a hugger? Are you a hugger now? During your time here at Fairfield, did you clean your room up after you had that big party? <laughs> or did you even clean up, help your roommate clean up that mess? Did you, could you get up in the morning and do you smile and do you say, good morning to everyone? Do you, do you try to figure out which person each day you're going to, do something special to, to make their work, their work and their lives feel better. That's what hugging is all about. It builds mutual respect and trust when you do that, and you have more fun doing it. In case, you know, I'm sure many of you are huggers, and if those of you who are, great. For those of you who need a little practice, here's a simple little exercise. I received an email years ago from a, from a gentleman that, that, um, excuse me, I want to make sure you understand my, my story is going to be real. I have to put my tape back on. The gentleman was a jeweler in Madison, Wisconsin, and he said, Jack, I, I, I have to confess I was a nasty jeweler and owner. I used to ball my people out. Why didn't you buy the, after they sold a nice, beautiful, expensive jewel, uh, necklace, why didn't you sell the ring and also the, the bracelet? I jumped up and down. I, I just, I never complimented anyone. And I, it was a, sort of an unhappy place, but you know, we were doing okay. I read your book. He said, I decided I was gonna try to be a hugger. And I started smiling, but he said, I needed some help. So I took 10 pennies and I put them in my left pocket. And I went around and I said, wow, Sally, nice job on selling that bracelet. And I put them in my right pocket. And he said, by noontime, I was complimenting people and people were smiling. And guess what? We were having a lot more fun. Fast forward the story. He said, the end of the story is, he said, guess what? After about two months, I was putting my old silver dollars that I had from Las Vegas in, and we were jumping up and down after we had a great day and a great week. And everybody was having a much more happy time, happy associates or employees, mean happy customers. And guess what? Sales went up, cash flow went up, profit went up. You see, hugging can go in a business or it can do in anything that you need to know. So you, sometimes you need help. So I want you today to think about whether you're gonna be pledging and will be committing to be a hugger, okay? So the very first thing, you know, you've, you've done this before um, with me. The first thing I want you to do is, is hug yourself again. Everybody hug yourself again? Okay, now remember you hug, come on family, friends, same thing, I wanna see you in the back rows there. Come on, hug yourself, hug yourself. The next thing I want you to do is commit. Will you execute, will you execute one hug? Today's Sunday, by Tuesday, I want you to try to hug somebody. It could be an email, it could be a text, it could be a nice handwritten note with a real ink pen. It could be somebody that you, you fell out of favor with, a surprise hug to somebody, maybe a roommate, maybe a, your, your undergraduate roommate, maybe a family member, maybe it's your best customer on your new job. How about everybody, everybody commit to that one question? Put your hand up if you're gonna commit to that, please. A little higher, a little higher, I can't see you all. Wave, okay, all right. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Now the last thing I want you to do, and I want you to remember this for a long time, graduates to be, stand up please. Everybody stand up, right? Please stand up. Yes, everybody stand up. So what, what I want you to do is, is the people around you, I want you to smile at them. Give them a smile. Give them a, a, a good, fair handshake. 
If you give them a high five, if you want to go for it, give them a hug. Give them a hug. Let's sit. All right. How does that feel? How does it feel? Keep, keep going. Let's see. Look at this down here. Look at this hugging going on down here. Look at this. Thank you very, 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 very much. And God bless you all and the best of everything going forward in your new careers. Thank you. At this time, I would like to take an opportunity to issue a very warm welcome to representatives of the class of 1968. Frank Becker, Francis Calzetta, and Charles Coletti represent alumni celebrating 50-year reunion at Fairfield University. Over there. We are honored by their presence and by their lifelong commitment to Fairfield University. I would like to take a moment to ask these three representatives of the class of 1968 to stand and be recognized by our graduating students, their guests, our faculty, and administration. Thank you. We shall now have the presentation of candidates for degrees in course by the deans of the five schools of the university and the conferring of those degrees by the president of the university. Dean Meredith Kayser will present the degree candidates from the Merriam Peckham Egan School of Nursing and Health Studies. Dr. Kayser. Will the candidates for the Doctor of Nursing Practice and Master of Science in Nursing degree from the Marion Peckham Egan School of Nursing and Health Studies please stand. These men and women have fulfilled all the requirements established by Fairfield University for the Doctor of Nursing Practice and for the Master of Science in Nursing degree and are hereby presented to the President and Trustees for the conferring of those degrees. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Fairfield University and the State of Connecticut, I hereby confer the degree Doctor of Nursing Practice and the degree Master of Science in Nursing on all those presented by the Dean of the Merriam Peckham Egan School of Nursing and Health Studies. Congratulations. Will the graduates please come forward to receive their diplomas? The Doctorate of Nursing Practice graduates will be hooded by Associate Dean Dr. Joy Shea before receiving their diplomas from Dr. Mark Nemec. Please withhold all your applause until all graduates have been presented. Caroline Barone. <laughs> Hilary Bartholomew. Peter Bramer. <laughs> Bethany Burke. Olivia Carter, Amy Chacon, Thayer Clark, Alexia Cortella, Amanda Costella, Doris Daupuy, Michael DeMossi, Samantha Diaz Hennessy, Krista Esposito, Song Ihan, Tara Hall, Jane Hedrick, Nancy Ingenito, Garrett Jaffe, Ryan Keenan, Christopher. La Serenza, Tambolze Marino, Jennifer Marlin, Samantha Moraz, Wanika Indubaku, Heidi Ochab, Taylor Priest, Megan Ryan, 
Zaida Sairitupa. Rita Sklar. Krista Smeagol. <laughs> Teresa Spencer. Yamirka Swayze. Kevin Trail. Nancy Velasco. Jessica Wexler. Chin Yu. Sarah Atiaga. Teresa Aversa. Liza Bakaritz. Sandra Badowski. Ashley Bailey. Evelyn Barron. Dina Brown. Nicola Coleman. Carissa Cornelius. Laura DeVoe. Alma Dwumfor. Nicole Ferreira. Catherine Fitzpatrick. Terriol West Gabor. Lisa Jiren Lametti. Margaret Gorlick. Julia Green. Aaron Gunther. Lauren Hanulik. Allison Hayketz. Cindy Kim. Tyler Mamone. Christina McElroy. Christina Meehan, Cynthia Metz, Maria Minet, Danielle Randall, Danielle Rivera, Carolyn Ruiz, Dana Smart, Larissa Smollery, Tatiana Tumenik, Nicole Vitti, Congratulations to all our graduates. <laughs> Dean Richard Greenwald will present the degree candidates from the College of Arts and Sciences. Dean Greenwald. With the candidates for the Masters of Arts, Masters of Science degrees, Master of Public Administration, and the Master of Fine Arts from the College of Arts and Sciences, please stand. These men and women have fulfilled all the requirements established by Fairfield University for the Masters of Arts, Masters of Science degrees, Masters of Public Administration, and Masters of Fine Arts degrees, and are hereby presented to the President and Trustees for the conferral of those degrees. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Fairfield University and the State of Connecticut, I hereby confer the degrees of Master of Arts, Master of Science, Master of Public Administration, and Master of Fine Arts on all those presented by the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Congratulations. Will the graduates please come forward to receive their diplomas? Please withhold your applause until all graduates have been presented. Andrew Davenport. Joseph Fortino. Catherine McGee. Alana McLeodowney. Maria Valentina Aduan Ramirez, Juan de Mayan, Jason Howell, Nicholas Kapoor, Stephanie Potter, Jonathan Rosofsky, Monica Sistowska, Lauren Felicia, Tavlin Halberg, Nicole Moffa, Brittany Netherly, Hannah Pike, Madeline Priest, Kadeem Roberts, Patrick Saley, Julie Tuzoli.
Dean Mark Ligas will present the degree candidates from the Dolan School of Business. Dean Ligas. Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree and the Master of Business Administration degree from the Dolan School of Business please stand? These men and women have fulfilled all the requirements established by Fairfield University for the Master of Science and the Master of Business Administration degrees and are hereby presented to the President and Trustees for the conferring of those degrees. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Fairfield University and the State of Connecticut, I hereby confer the degree of Master of Science and Master of Business Administration on all those presented by the Dean of the Dolan School of Business. Will the graduates please come forward to receive their diplomas? Please withhold your applause until all graduates have been presented. Alok Agarwal, Jonathan Ajila, Kelly Alberti, Maria Bukusis, Amy Barden, Carolyn Bennett, Jeffrey Bonewald, Danielle Buono, Carolyn Byrne, Mary Calabra, Guy DeFeo, Vincenza DiMedomenico, Alexandra Fazio, Matthew Finelli, Emma Fischio, Bridget Fitzpatrick, Ashley Flanagan, Sarah Gaelic, Megan Gallagher, Bridget Garvey, Barbara Goger, Connor Goes, Dominic Guarneri, Brenna Gayette, Christian Hauser, Ni Yun Guo, Robert Hedberg, John Hurley, Ashley Iannucci, Melissa Iannucci, Nastaya Johnson, Kelly Keegan, Samina Kojvik, Ashley Korn, Brianna Korn, Kelsey LaForest, Robert Lawler, Tyler Longo, Marie Magliaco, Mayank Maharishwari, Jennifer Maloney, Michael McGee, Alice McPartland, Jenna Mitchell, Daniel Molongano, Joseph Mosali, Fred Nefton, Tian Kwok Yun, Natalie Pace, Erica Polias, Robert Pelk, Danielle Pires. Christopher Posevac, Emily Pritchard, Karen Pritchard, Everett Reed, Michael Reardon, Sarah San Clemente, Hannah Sawyer, Elizabeth Sheeran, Colleen Sheridan, Lilybeth Silva, James Smalden, Elizabeth Salar, Donna Stiano, Ava Striegel, Catherine Tolomelli, Brianna Tancredi, Andrew Tropiano, Stephanie Van Fleet, Throng Yu, Christian Wallace, Jay Wang, Alexandra Weiss, Ji Hao Young, Brianna Zelko. Wilfredo Arbita Lopez, Gregory Berger, Maria Flores, Christopher Fonseca, Hannah Gerard, Patrick Grubb, Raymond Holian, Anthony Iorio, Michelle Jacobs, 
Jacqueline Leo, Sean McGady, Jennifer Nativo, Melissa Nelson, Kristen Oaks, Steve Onabamiro, Kenneth Schaefer, Charles Steen, Peter Sweeney, Antonio Tomas, Samantha Vigliota, Melissa Villalobos, Zachary Wright, Michael Yarina, Joanna Ziba. Congratulations to all. Dean Bruce Berdanier will present the degree candidates for the School of Engineering. Dean Berdanier. Will the candidates for the Master of Science in Engineering degrees please stand? These men and women have fulfilled all the requirements established by Fairfield University for the Master of Science in Engineering degree and are hereby presented to the President and Trustees for the conferring of those degrees. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the State of Connecticut, I hereby confer the degree of Master of Science in Engineering on those presented by the Dean of the School of Engineering. Will the graduates please come forward to receive their diplomas? Please withhold your applause until all the graduates have been presented. Deepa Al Alugubeli. Radhika Balapanur. Prasanna Bhagavatula, Vincent Corsello, Roja Donavath, Evan File, John Fanazzo, Sampath Reddy Gottam, Matthew Galliano, Womainath Giram, Sai Maran Charavula. Lohit Chanda, Sumant Guraru, Sudhir Raj Haridas, Bab Harisi, Morris Jalo, Walid Jawad Hussein, Venkata Taswarlu Kakumanu, Tamea Kane. Shreya Karan, Jung Soo Kim, Adi Vishnu Kamuraveli, Sosender Maras, Rajesh Maganti, Carlos Mesquita, Christina Molina, Lavanya Marukar, Rajasai Naka, Christina Okoa, Prachi Oak, Ranjana Kamalakar Patankar, Hari Pogula, Dinesh Kumar Ragaraj, Roshara Savadi, Sharvaya Surineni, Christopher Suter, Nikhil Taloju, Anusha Vaka, Daniel Vesconez, Abhilash Yelani, Surya Vamsi Ganavarapu, Venkata Siddhartha Penuganda, Tejaswini Gorati, Laxmi Diraja Domirla, Puja Reddy Sirlam, Vikas Kumar Katkar, Mandan Mohan Reddy Vera Ruth. Congratulations to all. Associate Dean Stephanie Storms will present the degree and certificate candidates from the Graduate School of Education and Allied Professions. Dr. Storms. Thank you. 
Will the candidates for the Master of Arts degree and for the sixth year certificate from the Graduate School of Education and Allied Professions please stand. These men and women have fulfilled all the requirements established by Fairfield University for the Master of Arts degree and for the sixth year certificate and are hereby presented to the president and trustees for the conferring of that certificate and degree. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Fairfield University and the State of Connecticut, I hereby award the Master of Arts degree and the sixth year certificate to all those presented by the Associate Dean of the Graduate School of Education and Allied Professions. Congratulations. Janessa Alvarez. Liliana Amadeo, Victoria Alt, Annette Bakes, Heather Barrett, yes! Hillary Bassett, Victoria B, Jean Berberic, Chastity Berrios Hernandez, Leslie Boland, Ryan Brady. Juliet Brisman Zuckerman, Shannon Broderick, Stephen Burroughs, Amanda Capella, Bianca Sena Tiempo, Alyssa Siskia, Victoria Cooperine, Anna Correa, Nicole Cotto. Christina Curto, Jessica DeLillo, Ian Dempsey, Victoria Dest, Hazel Dewey, Brandon DiGiacomo, Krista Dobson, Becca Domogala, Kyla Farrell, Jillian Ferentz, Joanna Friedrich, Gina Fuller, Alessia Gagnon, Sarah Ganga, Jennifer Gini, Chelsea Jeremiah, Joan Gill, Christopher Gleave, Anthony Granada, Katie Henderson, Sarah U. Iyengar, Paul Jurassic, Jennifer Johnson, Emily Kaufman, Lauren Corres, Ariane Ladd, Alyssa Leahy, Kristen Lee, Rachel Leslie, Michael Levinson, Jillian Lucia, Amanda Morello, Kimberly Lindquist, Vermary Maria, Samantha McLaughry, Catherine McDonald, Marissa McDermott, Mary McGee, Allison McGrath, Valerie Mondesir, Kelly Montanero. Elvado Morgan, Colleen Mulroney, Sally Ng, Alexandra Nicoli, Hadley Orr, Victoria Ortiz, Rutu Patel, Jane Penn, Alexis Polina, Kelly Poso, Maria Melissa Pritelt, Prayerna Purohit, Chantel Runweck, Lauren Roberts, Alexandra Rosati, Kathleen Ross, Lauren Stewart, Philip Strang, Olivia Tangredi, Paul Tarr, Marsha Tashira, Sabrina Vagnon, Emilia Vargas, Valerie Vincent, 
Chelsea Vrabel, Morgan Walton, Thomas Wolmacher, Kimberly Ann Umane, Mackenzie Yusko. Elena Chapman, Sean Collins, Brianna Coyle, Katrina Gonzalez Hicks, Amanda Duffy, Danielle Kopeck, Kira Russo, Jennifer Wolcott. Congratulations to all. At this point in the ceremony, I would ask all of our new graduates to please rise and acknowledge with applause your appreciation for your faculty as teachers, advisors, and mentors. Thank you, and you can be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Mark R. Nemec, President of Fairfield University, to offer remarks. Dr. Nemec. Thank you, Dr. Siegel. To our Master's and Doctor of Nursing Practice graduates, congratulations. As these last few remarks and Father Allen's benediction are all that stand between you and your well-earned status as graduate degree holders from Fairfield University, I will be brief. I would be remiss, however, if I did not use this occasion to share a few thoughts, a few sentiments to carry with you on your way. First, again, congratulations. Embrace the moment, savor it. All this hard work has now come to this celebration. But the celebration is not done, because as you have entered into this course of study, you know you have entered into a lifetime of learning. Second, thank you. Thank you on behalf of the university. Thank you as president. I would thank you especially in this regard. You as our master's and doctor of nursing practice students complete us. Fairfield has from its very founding been a university and your commitment to advanced study is what makes us thus. And lastly, may God bless you all in all your pursuits going forward. Again, to all our graduates, congratulations. Please rise. Reverend Charles Allen of the Society of Jesus, University Chaplain and Special Assistant to the President will pronounce the benediction. Let us bow our heads and ask for God's blessing. Almighty and ever loving God, as we conclude our graduation ceremonies on this lovely spring afternoon at Fairfield University, we pray that these graduate students may go forward into their chosen professions with a new sense of competency and of confidence, of kindness and of compassion. Almighty God, we thank you for the parents, grandparents, children, classmates, teachers and friends who have helped these graduates achieve the goals we acknowledge today. For these graduates today, many years of challenge, study, good times, and wonderful experiences come to an end. We ask that you would bless them, Lord, in the years to come, so that the joys of their Fairfield years may be a part of their future lives and the lives of all of those whom they touch. We ask this of you, knowing that you are a loving God, and so we say together, Amen. To bring our commencement to a close, please rise for the singing of the Fairfield University. No.
sorry. <laughs> okay, will our guests remain in their seats until those on the stage and the graduates have recessed? The 68th commencement exercises of Fairfield University are now officially concluded. Thank you. Thank you.